It's leg day, leg day, you motherfuckers. It's leg day, leg day, fuck, yeah. That's the theme song for leg day. <laughs> and I'm doing it both legs today because I'm just going to be fucked doing one leg at a time. But I'm doing this to... I like to do a leg extension before I squat just to warm up. <sighs> so, yeah, it's just 40 kilo warm-ups and then I, for 15 or 20 or whatever I do. And then I do a few more sets and each set I go heavier and heavier and heavier until I can do 10 reps only. Lift, 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 lift. <laughs> Try and pause at the top. Pause at the top and the bottom. Then the top. Oh, not much of a pause there. Oh, God, I'm bludgeoning. Really bludgeoning. It's a bit harder to pause once you get to the heavier weights, but, you know, I should still be doing it. Pause at the top and squeeze, but you don't lock your knees out on this one. It's got to be slightly bent. And then... Um, uh, down the bottom as well, but without letting it sit. You know, you want to keep the tension on. You don't let the machine, like there, it's just sitting as a machine, and then I'm going to lift it off, yeah. But I see, no, I don't, I don't quite lock out, and then here I don't quite go back to resting. See the weight, the plates going up and down don't rest. They, um, what's his face? Um, stop. I didn't really do much pausing, did I? I don't even know how many reps. I, I did 10 reps of each, everything. Like, there's no doubt about that. It's just whatever got filmed. The cameramen don't always catch every rep. Uh, 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 a bit yawny today. Far out. I just I went to barn me at the SG Bakery. I had a barn me pork roll. And then I went to Sweet Republic on the way back here. I live here in BUR. And I went to Sweet Republic and had a couple of scoops of ice cream. Uh, today I got rum and raisin and I got, uh, what's the other one? What other flavour did I get? Oh, wild strawberry. They were both very good. <laughs> Go. So you can see I'm nearly doing the whole stack. <laughs> Not quite, but I'll, I'll eventually will. Like I've, I've done, you, when I used to go to the gym before, I used to do the stack on most machines. And this is the seated leg curl. So yeah, once again, I'm doing the curls together. The whole time I have to concentrate on using both legs as much as each other. Uh, that's why I often do the standing leg curl because you do one leg at a time. And then I do like leg extension one leg at a time because I don't want to um, be getting one leg to do all the work. That sometimes happens a little bit. But um, I think it was all pretty even today. I concentrated. I quite like these seated leg curls because you can squeeze at the bottom really good. And squeeze. I'm squeezing on this one. A lot of those reps. And so, yeah, after I do the leg extensions and the curls, th th sort of three working type sets. Oh, well, with this one, I just did three sets because I was already warmed up. And I don't do heavy leg curls either. There's no point. You're just um, going to recruit other muscles. You want it into the hams, in the hammies. And at whatever weight I'm doing there, I could feel my hammies doing everything. That's what people do. They, they, they go too heavy. They rush them. A uh, heavy is like a small of muscles. And they've got to be done lighter. And otherwise, because what the idea we're trying to isolate the hamstring as much as possible. And if you go too heavy, you're not going to isolate it. You're going to engage other muscles more than you are if you keep it at a reasonable weight so yeah i went quite i go quite heavy on leg extension maybe but not um uh, leg curls or straight leg deadlifts if i use dumbbells i keep it light um what what probably 10 kilo dumbbells aside if i do straight leg deadlifts 
And you see people getting lots of plates and with the barbell doing straight leg deadlifts. But um, no, it's not, you, if you want to isolate your hamstrings and uh, not risk injury and all that stuff, all you have to do is 10 kilo dumbbells at most and go into it. Okay, so I think here I do a set of 15 or 20 free squats and then um, I'm pretty warmed up at this point, so I'll just get straight into the bar after this. That shirt's cool, hey? It looks, looks like a spiral. Looks like the, 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 you know the show Doctor Who? And it has a spiral. Do, 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 do. You know that song? Do, 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 do. So I went and got the safety bar because I like it. I like that you don't have to put your hands behind your head and grab the bar and hurt your shoulders and shit. And I like that with this one, it sits right up on your traps. Uh, so it's a high squat, not a low squat. When you, someone talks about a high squat or a low squat, a high squat means it's sitting up on their traps. A low squat's further down there. Uh, back a little bit. This is definitely a high squat and it's all padded. And I think the, the bar being cambered, which means bent a little bit like that, I, I feel that it keeps me, um, you know, with my back pretty straight and everything. It helps with that. So, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I don't mind these new styles of bars. And so, yeah, that's why I went and fetched the, the bad boy. Now, I'm still only doing a pretty light weight with squats, even over a few weeks in, in um, because... I can't even get reps out. Like, I'm not even doing 10 reps at 60. So 60 is the 20 is the bar, two 20-kilo plates at 60 kilos. I'm not even doing sets of 10 at 60 yet. Part of the reason is is weakness in the legs from being in surgery and all that stuff for a long time. And the the other part is uh, that I haven't done legs for ages as well. It takes a while to build up strength. Uh, the other part is I'm already a real heavy uh, cat as is so there's a lot of weight on my legs when I'm squatting up and down before I even put anything on my back but um it's funny 60 felt light today but I was still gassing out I think the first set I did eight and then I don't know if I did maybe it was nine and and then the other ones I didn't even get to eight it was more like seven six five seven you know um so I'm not prepared to put more weight on it until at least I can do some more reps. That's how I feel about it. I mean, in the old days, I would have put more weight on by now and just done fewer reps and, and then the lower weights, I'd start being able to do more reps because I've done that. But like these days, I, I just, I don't know. I just want to um, do the weight I can manage without sort of pushing myself too hard. Ew. I really feel having a squat soon enough, you know what I mean? But yeah, I like that you can grab the handlebars and just... Um, I don't know why I keep lifting them like that. See how I lift the handles? <laughs> I don't know why I do that. But I don't think it really matters too much. It's just something I'm doing that's not really that affecting things too much, I don't think. And um, so it was a bit of fun. He seems to be filming a little bit between the sets at the moment. Oh, no. All right, let's get it in there. So it's sitting right up on the top of my traps there. So, like I say, definitely a high squat. And uh, so between the fact that it's sitting really high on your traps and the, the cambering of the bar the way it is, so it keeps you quite upright. And that's helpful, yeah. You don't want to be bending over and rounding your back at all or anything. So, um, yeah, I enjoyed squats today. It's the second time I've squatted this week. I think I squatted Monday and did legs Monday and I'm doing it twice this week and I enjoyed it. I, I wasn't 100% sure how I'd go, but um, I, I uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it. It was good fun. I, I like squatting, actually. I like... I like the weight room in general, but yeah, I do like squatting. Some people don't like leg days, but I, I don't mind them at all. You get um, a lot of testosterone from doing squats and stuff. And um, makes you extra horny. 
which is good. It's always good to be horny. Hey, people. <laughs> It's like an optical illusion, that shirt. It sort of looks three-dimensional almost, and it, it actually looks like a hole. <laughs> but a black hole. But it's not. It's just flat. Sort of a 3D effect. Actually, he's done a pretty good job of filming today from all the different angles and whatever, and um, gives, gives a bit of an interesting perspective on everything. Look at that, mate. That's just a perfect squatteroo. It's a good squatty style. And like I say, the bar's assisting in that too. It's helping me do that. And then I did three sets of 10 calf raises. I did it on the side here at first, and then I realised that they'd strapped foam on there to protect it. If it, uh, I don't know, people drop bars on there. I think they're trying to stop it getting chipped by having foam there. So I went over there because I don't want to damage their foam. But I can already see improvements in my calves after a few weeks of doing calf raises, actually. It looks like they're getting a bit more muscular. All right, I'm back. Now, you probably didn't know that I stopped filming because I didn't say anything, stopped recording the overdub. Um, but what happened is as I was watching it, as I was squatting here, this was sideways, this edit. So between the last set and this new set, <laughs> there's the shocker. Um, that thing was sideways. So sometimes when you film stuff, it ends up sideways on the, you know, in, in, stored in your photos as a little film um, piece. And then you've got to press the transform button and press arrows to get it up to the right way. And I record this, uh, you know, in one take pretty much in one go, um, these overdubs. So I, I watch it for the first time together. Once I, once I put all the, the scenes together, I watch it as I talk and, and remedy those sorts of things as I'm going. So I press stop with the overdubbing and, and do it and, um, start again. Once I've, uh, fixed the, the footage up. So here I'm doing sit-ups when you first saw my feet at the bottom, you might have thought I was back on the leg extension machine, but no. I absolutely love the sit-up machine. I did, I think, four or five sets of uh, 13. I didn't uh, add another rep yet. <laughs> so I've been adding reps gradually to sort of trick my body, you know. So I started off at 10, then it was 11 for a week or something, then it was 12. Now it's 13. It's going to be 13 for a bit, I think. Uh, I was getting pretty tired doing them, and uh, it was so hot in the gym today. Fuck me. It was hot squatting as well. And uh, then, you know, like I normally do, I do all my stretching in between these setups, sit-ups, uh, yeah, sit-up machine sets. I stretch calves and I stretch hamstrings and I stretch every part of my body, actually. But usually, like I said, it starts with calves and ham hammies while I'm doing sit-ups in between sets. Ah, oh, yeah. I've still got the aftertaste of the rum and raisin ice cream and all that in my mouth. It's really delicious. I love going for ice cream. Beer, we didn't have an ice cream bar before. Here's me stretching my lats. Beer, we didn't have an ice cream bar before, and uh, now they do. It's nice to have some ice cream. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. <laughs> That's what they used to say when I was a kid. And to be honest, my maturity level hasn't changed much since I was a kid. It's funny, as you um, grow up as into a man, you're still a kid at heart. Well, I am. I'm a kid at heart and nothing's changed except the external and I don't know, maybe there's been a lot of hard life lessons along the way and stuff, but I went over to that sit-up bench to see if I could stretch my, um, what's the face, glutes on it, but it was too high. <laughs> so I, I, I do my glutes at the end on the um, decline bench press foam rollers at the end, the, the leg roller things. 
Yeah, I'm loving having stronger abs. I think I say that nearly every time I watch me do this. I'm, uh, I, I love it, you know, especially like um, for some reason lately I've been enjoying going hungry. Oh, this is a cameraman. He decided that he was going to go and see if he could actually get a sit-up rep out on this big angled thing. He didn't know you had to put your legs in there. That's what he asked. I told him, yes, you do. And now he goes, and I think he ended up getting five reps out, which was pretty good considering he hasn't done a sit-up in... I don't know how many years, but yeah, I thought that was pretty good if that he pulled it off. I don't know, Did, was it five or was it less? <laughs> Living the clown, <laughs> clowning around, good on him. Yeah, so what am I doing here? Am I just resting or I'm about to stretch shoulders or, oh, I'm doing um, uh, thigh stretch. I was. Every day, I fucking try and remember what the fuck your thighs are called, the, the muscle term, you know? Quads, I'm stretching my quadriceps. Yeah, quads. I got it today. Yesterday, I couldn't even remember, I don't think. I love it when you get that safety rail. Oh, God, you get a deep stretch in the quad. It is delightful. It really is. And then I think after I stretched quads, I think I did my quads twice because I was enjoying it so much and I'd done the leg extensions. And then I went over and did hips, which gets into your quads again as well. And then after this, I go over and do glutes and um, I get on the ground again and pull myself forward so that I can do my hamstrings and groin in a good way, I like that stretch. I used to love partner stretching. What what you used to do is you, you get on the floor, you sit on your ass, just chuck a spread, and then what happens is somebody else comes along, they do the same in front of you, but they uh, put their feet on your ankles inside your legs and then th they push out while they grab your hands and pull you forward. But you'll see I do my best to do it solo replicate that that whole pairs stretching thing uh i do it solo in a minute that's the perfect height for me that i get right into the glute like you wouldn't believe it's fucking fabulous when i first walked over it wasn't working i was going why the hell because i do this so well yesterday and not today then i realized someone had adjusted the leg thing <laughs> there's a little that yellow thing that my foot just covered up it's a little button uh, not a button what do they call it you know those things where you pull it out and then you can adjust and then you let it go and it locks it in, clicks it in. Um, yeah, so I had to adjust it and then it was perfect again. <laughs> now, see that fan there? It blows the other way. You get a little bit of wind this way, but it blows the other way. I would have loved it if it was blowing on me there. <laughs> Stretching with a big bloody fan on you would be just wonderful at this point in the, the proceedings. So you can see the yellow pulling thing now. And this is that one I was just talking about. So... I'm doing it solo, but somebody else uh, in the old days when I used to go to partner stretching classes, like you might go to a karate club or something, and they put their feet inside your legs and push out and then you grab their hands and they pull you forward. So you're both facing each other, sitting similarly, but their feet go inside your legs and push them out. And then, like I said, you're grabbing hands and they pull you forward, but I'm pulling myself forward here. And once again, I'm quite upright. But I thought I had pulled myself over really far. <laughs> so it's funny how that once you get the stretch, because I'm in, a, I'm having, exp it's, you can see I'm not deeply stretching at all. But to me, it feels like it. It is a deep stretch. I am feeling in the hamstrings like you wouldn't believe and the groin. So it shows how tight I am and how I'm going to have to just plug away and keep at it until I um, can actually stretch well. But I'm pretty relieved that this is over and can't wait to get in the shower today.